I got a question if there were any driving actions on the characters, and no, there aren't. But I have used this scene before, it's in backgrounds, to simulate driving. And you don't even have to mask, although I did mask Lenka, and I'll explain why after. But I thought I would give it a shot and then just post a tutorial on it. So first, if you want the scenes where they are driving. So if I put in car in the background, here's this scene right here. I'm going to drop it over here so we can show you how I made this out of that. And then there's also a road here, and then there is also a car scene here, although I've never tried to put a person in there. The other place that there is a car scene is in scenes, in the characters. And if you go down, we do have a scene with a car. If you don't know this trick, you can open this bigger so you can see it better. Um, but now I have to go back up. There it is. So then we have this scene and we also have that scene. So those are pre-made if you want to use those. But it is possible to make your own. So what I did is I just did a animation on the background to simulate it going into the distance. And I put two characters in there and I just had the talking action this is under teacher in the characters. She's one of my favorites. She's in the 3D. Um, her name is T. I think she's just under teacher. Why can I never find them when I'm doing these? <laughs> there, teacher lady. So she's one of my favorites. So I just have her in the talking action. And then I have Lenka speaking. Um, and I used the sitting action. And the ch reason I chose that is her eyes really look like she's kind of looking both ways when she's driving. So I chose it for that. But of course, we don't have any hands on the wheel and you'd have to do some fancy um, figuring out how you might make that work with masking other hands. But I didn't bother doing that. Sometimes if you have other things that can help distract from it and then it's not as visible, then you can get away with it for short scenes. So here's what I did. First, I'm going to ungroup the car scene. Here is the road. And then the car has the car and the interior. So when you're putting your characters in, you just put your characters in between the layers. So let's put Lenka in there. I had her sitting. I disabled the start and the end so she didn't do anything else. I need to make sure she's under the top layer, then I can size her. Whoop. And this is a trick too. I also locked that because <laughs> I was just moving it all over the place. Um, so Lenka, I'm short, so <laughs> we can have that with the arms really down. I'm probably look like that. I don't know. So here, she is looking side to side. Now what I did is I actually made two Lenkas because I wanted to rotate her so her face, she was facing more forward. But when I did that, she kind of looks a little odd. Although I guess without the, um, the shirt collar like I had on here, it doesn't look as sideways as it might but what i i'll show you what i did here is then i just did a very quick mask i used a square for the top and another square for the bottom i'm gonna make her like a bottom Like a top, and then I'm going to take the 
top, select the square, hold my shift key, select the Lenka, masker, and do the same with the bottom. Select square, shift key down, the bottom, and mask. And then what I did is I skewed her body so that her body wasn't so crooked. Now you can't access rotate once you've masked. So I'm going to unmask that for a moment. Move that out of the way. Click on the sitting of the bottom. And I'm just going to rotate that a little so that she's facing forward more. And always turn off the rotate when you click to move her. And then I'm going to mask her again. And I think, I think she's a little crooked. <laughs> her head was a little bit outside of that. So I think that that will work. And that way she's facing forward, but her body isn't turned to the side because that's no way to drive. And then all I did is I went in and I got another character. I got the teacher. Whoop, I didn't spell right. And I put her inside the car. And for her, I did talking and then idle. And I stopped the beginning animation. So then it was just talking and then idle. And I would have to put her in a better position. Now, as you can see, I'm going to press down on my space bar and then click and drag up. You can see their legs underneath. But that's okay, because when you play it, you're not going to see it. So you don't have to mask those because the car is at the end at the bottom. I'm going to hit my F key to bring it all together for full screen. All right. So now all I have to do is animate the road. Part of it was a little hard because it was a curb. So what I did first is at the beginning, I don't know what that yellow line is. I've never seen that before. Um, <laughs> I got distracted by that. I'm going to scale this as high as I can. And then I'm just going to, obviously, this is a cartoon, so they are in the middle of the road, but we're not going to worry about that. You can play around with that if you want. Then I hit, with the selected, the road selected, animation, position, scale. I'm going to put that in case I need it. Then the easing, I put linear. And I think I only went for about six seconds, but I'm going to put it just to about here. And then what I did, you know what I did? Let's just go as long as the character. That will make it easier. I'm going to click and drag these to be at the beginning. Then I'm going to bring my background. So I have my first keyframe here, and I zoomed out. Now I'm going to go to my end keyframe, and then I am just going to scale it down to whatever I want it to be. Now, when you get towards the end here, the road is going to be curving. And I see, and I tried to do some positioning of the car. And then I did some positioning of the background, but it just didn't look smooth enough. So I think I stopped it there or thereabouts, just so that it didn't look like poor Lenka is a horrible driver. So watch. The background is moving and they're driving. If you need a longer clip, you can make this scroll 
um, go shorter, or I will link you to the scrolling background I have, and you can always um, add more backgrounds. You can always add more road, whatever you want, if you want to make it longer, or you can just make this longer and play with your timings. But that's how you can quickly add a driver into a car.